What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So, Apple released the iPhone 13 and along with it, a functionality called cinematic mode. While I did some tests during my review, today I want to do a deep dive and a closer look into this functionality. So sit back, relax, and let's get started. I want to go outside and buy some case for my iPhone and we're gonna utilize the iPhone as the main camera to record that experience. So let's go outside. So one thing that I realized that is when you are trying to film something that is not a person and someone comes into the shot, the iPhone will automatically switch to the person. So for example, I was trying to film the food and I have some people on the background, right? So the iPhone would constantly switch back to the person. So this is a little bit annoying. I think Apple should, uh, should fix this. You know, you, even if I was with the functionality that I can lock the focus on the food, it doesn't matter if I'm locking on the food. Every time that uh, the iPhone noticed there were some people in the frame, it would automatically switch to the people around. Alright, so far I'm pretty impressed with this cinematic mode. You see, it's not all about the megapixel count. It's about the sensor size and also the cameras and most importantly, the software behind it. Alright, so it's not perfect though. There's still some minor things that if you really pay close attention, you will notice the difference. You know, these things, especially close to the hair or close to the edges, it has this haze feeling or this haze thing. But you know, what is important is story, right? So you can use the iPhone to build your story and it should be fine. Now, I'm curious to see if the cinematic mode will work during the low light situations. It started to get a little bit dark now, so it's time to do some tests with the cinematic mode. You know what? One thing that I realized is that I wish I could have more control over the focus. It's kind of uh, annoying sometimes trying to focus in some place and the iPhone keeps changing it. Even if you lock focus, it doesn't stay. It's, it's very weird. I think Apple should fix this in the upcoming software updates.
So guys, tell me, cinematic mode, is it a nice feature or is it a gimmick? Well, to me, I'm pretty impressed with the quality of this feature. It looks really nice and I'm impressed as well with the overall quality of the videos coming out of this phone. I'm doing some video grading here and it looks really nice. The only issue though, as I mentioned a few times during the video, is with the focusing, which I believe it's pretty easy to be solved with a software update. I know that you can change the focus after the fact if you go in the settings. However, imagine taking many, many shots and having to go one by one to adjust the focus. It's just pretty time consuming. So I really would like to be able to control my focus during the shots. So guys, that's been it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I see you in the next one.